Welcome to day 10 of our Lent series. Today is Friday of the first week of Lent, and we would like to reflect on the way of the cross. Every Friday in Lent, most Catholic communities have the way of the cross. The stations of the cross help us to remember the suffering, death, and resurrection of Jesus. What are the origins of the way of the cross? By the late 4th century, people made pilgrimages to the Holy Land, where they followed the path Jesus took to Calvary. During the Middle Ages, the Muslim tax blocked access to the Holy Land, and it was made impossible to travel there. In 1686, Pope Innocent XI, realizing that few people could travel to the Holy Land due to the Muslim oppression, granted the right to erect stations in all their churches and that the same indulgences would be given to the Franciscans and those affiliated with them for practicing the devotion as if it was an actual pilgrimage. Pope Benedict XIII extended these indulgences to all the faithful in 1726. Five years later, Pope Clement XII permitted stations to be created in all churches and fixed the number at 14. People created a Via Dolorosa which means sorrowful way, in towns and villages. They erected paintings or sculptures depicting the passion of Christ along a processional route or inside the church. And how did the stations of the cross come up to 14 stops? Are all of them mentioned in the Bible? We see that Although not all the stations along the way of the cross are mentioned in scripture, each may be considered as an extension of an event that the gospel records. The Catechism of the Catholic Church teaches that the Church does not derive her certainty about or reveal truth from the Holy Scripture alone. Both scripture and tradition must be honored. Catechism of the Catholic Church, number 82. Thus, although the stations may not all be mentioned in Scripture, meditating on them is one way to identify ourselves more closely with the sacrifice Christ offered for us. I wish you a very meditative Friday on the way of the cross. Thank you very much.